we're going to build one of those. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. In this video, we're going to be building a DIY hoist system here in our shop. So the general concept behind this is just to be able to lift something up to the ceiling in your shop to get it up and out of the way until you need it. Something like this could be used for really anything. You could build a platform to lift up for storage of Christmas decorations. Uh, you could use a hoist system for kayaks, bicycles, or anything like that. For my purposes, I'm gonna be using it to lift my rooftop tent for my truck. With this system, I'll be able to lift it up to the ceiling for storage when I'm not using it. And then when I do wanna mount it back to my truck, I can just lower it down directly onto my truck rack and I'll be good to go. We're gonna be utilizing several different things to build out this system. And a big part of that is gonna be the use of pulleys to make this a really nice, smooth system and making it really easy to lift and lower. I'm also gonna be building out a frame to support the pulleys and the weight of what I'm lifting. And then of course you need a way to lift it, whether it be a hand crank winch or an electric hoist. And I did actually try both of those. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. I will admit this was a little bit of a trial and error process for me. I tried several different things along the way. So I'm gonna be able to tell you guys what worked well, what didn't. So this video is gonna be a little bit more of a show and tell rather than a how to. But I am gonna be going through here and showing you how I have all of this set up how exactly it works. And as always, I will have links to all the products I use for this build linked in the description below. But before we get into all that, if you haven't done it yet, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. So let's get in here and I'll show you how I set up my DIY hoist system. First thing I need to do is build out the frame that's gonna support the whole system. For this, I'm using some Super Strut C channel. I'm gonna do as much of the prep work for this on the ground as I can, mounting the L brackets and as many pulleys as I can before I have to climb up on the ladder. And I'll explain the placement of these pulleys in just a minute. In some places, I'm able to mount these using bolts through the existing holes. In others, I'm just using self-tapping screws. Now I'm going to climb up and start putting all of the pieces into place and start getting it assembled. This frame is going to be rested on top of the existing frame to help give it support and I'm going to attach it with fender washers and self-tapping screws. I'm going to be using these inch and a half pulleys that are designed to be mounted to ceilings or walls. Each of these has a weight rating of 420 pounds. After some careful measurement to make sure I get these exactly where I want them, I'm going to mount these to the super strut using bolts going through the existing holes. I have pulleys at all four corners as well as two in the middle at the back and two in the middle at the front. This will make a lot more sense to you in just a minute. Now you can use any rope you want for this system, but I decided to use this paracord that's rated for a thousand pounds, and I will have a link to that in the description below. I'm gonna start running these up and through our pulleys out to each corner. Now each of these drops on the right side is gonna come out and form a loop on the end and the reason I'm doing it this way is to help make sure I'm pulling on both of these at the exact same time. And then I set up the left side at the exact same way. Now that I have one loop for each side, I'm gonna join these together using a rope clamp to make sure these are gonna be perfectly even on the ends. All right, so this is what I ended up with because I didn't want these four getting all tangled up. The back ropes feed up and through these two pulleys here. These two for the left side go through the same pulley and then form a loop. Same thing on the other side. 
so that as this rope pulls, all four should pull at the same rate. Now I'm gonna start working on the platform that's actually gonna be lifting my tent. For this, I'm using two 60 inch two by eights. I'm gonna give these a quick paint job and then install an eye bolt on each end of both of these. Also wanna cover these with some carpeting so they don't scratch up my tent. And these adhesive back carpet tiles work perfect for this. I just line them up with the edge and then attach it with staples. And then I pull back on that adhesive backing, sticking it down as I go, and then cutting off the excess. And then I just continue that process all the way down on both boards. I chose to use carpeting for this, but I also think some non-slip rubber material would also be a great idea. Then I decided to mount some wheels to the bottom of this. That way I can also use this as a dolly to help me move the tent around. And once I get the tent in place centered under our pulleys, I'm ready to attach those ropes. So there's a couple different ways you could set this up. You could just have one cable come down to your eyelet here that does all the lifting. And I did try that at first, but then I realized there is a better way that's not gonna put near as much stress on your winch. So what I ended up doing is I have my main line coming down here. We have that coming down to a pulley here at the bottom that's then connected to our lift. Then our line goes back up and tied off to a stationary position. So if you're familiar with mechanical advantage and how pulleys work, you may understand this. Now, my rooftop tent is only 160 pounds, so that's not a ton of weight for this system. But by having our main line come down here, loop around a pulley at the bottom, and then back up to a stationary position, we're effectively cutting the amount of force needed to lift this in half. So by doing this, we're putting a lot less stress on our system and doubling the amount of weight that we can lift. All right guys, I know this looks like a pretty elaborate setup here behind me, but I'm gonna walk through it with you and show you exactly how this works. So we basically have one line coming off of each corner of our lift here. And each of those starts here tied off. What that's gonna do is gonna come down through the pulley we showed you at the bottom. Then it's coming back up through this pulley here and then over to this bank of two pulleys and then out to the winch. All right, the same thing at all four corners. So this is gonna go down, back up, through that back set of pulleys, through the front set of pulleys, and then out. Each of those four lines comes out and is joined together at a single point right there where that carabiner is, which is connected to our winch cable. What this junction is doing is using one winch cable to pull all four corners of our hoist at the exact same time. That way we don't have to worry about one corner lifting at a different rate than the rest. All of these pull at exactly the same time. The only downside to setting it up this way is because you're doubling over your line, it's gonna take twice as long for it to lift the same distance. So in my shop, if I'm going floor to ceiling, I need to lift this about 13 feet. Now the pulley here at the bottom is gonna half the amount of force needed to lift it, but it's gonna double the amount of time it takes to lift it. So my original thought was to use a hand crank winch mounted to the wall to lift this system, which did work. It did lift it just fine, but it was very, very slow. I even took the hand crank off and used my drill to turn it, but even as fast as my drill could turn it, it was still moving super slow. So ultimately what I ended up doing is switching to an electric hoist, which honestly is a much better option. The one I went with specifically seems to lift this with no issue at all, and it does it much faster. This is the hoist I decided to go with. This is an 880 pound capacity electric hoist system from Harbor Freight, and it works perfect for my system. Now I was able to find one very similar on Amazon and I will have a link to that in the description below if you wanna get one of these for yourself. 
So because of the way I have this set up and because of the distance from floor to ceiling here in my shop, which is 13 feet, I needed to mount my hoist a significant distance away to be able to lift it that high. So you can see I have my lift there at the other end of the shop near the garage door. And that line comes all the way across the ceiling and all the way here to the opposite wall of my shop, about 35 feet away. So if you're building a system like this, that is something you need to consider. Whatever height you need to be able to lift your items, you're gonna need at least that much distance from your pulleys to your hoist. The controls for the hoist hang right here on the opposite wall of my shop. Now, this is not the ideal location. Ideally, I would have it over there near the garage door and near the lift itself, but this is just how it worked out. The control is very simple. It just has an up and a down button, and we'll see how well this works. Now, once I have this tent lifted all the way to the ceiling, I've also added some safety chains here secured to the framing. That way I can connect those chains to the eyelets and then I can back off on the winch and the weight of the tent would then be supported by the chains, not by the winch. That way I don't have to have my hoist system under constant tension. All right, guys, that is it for how to build your DIY hoist system in your shop. This is a great project for getting things up and out of the way in your shop but having them easily accessible when you need them again we will have links to all the products we used in this project including the electric hoist system linked in the description below if you have any questions or suggestions on things we could have done different please let us know in the comment section below thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time